Welcome to the Italian technical support for the USA and Canadian market. Today we are here to present to you the new 5K3 dual voltage battery. This battery is the only battery on the energy storage market that has the features to be used as a dual voltage battery, which means it supports a low and high voltage inverter as approved by WEPO. Now let's discuss the main features. Externally, it presents itself as an integrated module that can be wall mounted using the wall mount bracket or in stackable mode using the supports at the bottom. All Waco batteries can be monitored through the Waco monitoring software that we suggest to use during the installation process. To use the Waco monitoring system, it's necessary to have a computer with Windows 10 and Waco USB RS232 serial converter. The connection with the Waco USB converter has to be made through the RJ45 network port on the side of the batteries next to the run button. The same port can be used through to connect the USB device and Waco app available on the App Store and Google Play Store. All Waco batteries are supplied with a low voltage and high voltage. Now let's start to illustrate the top parts of the battery by removing the top plate of the terminal hub to access the data and power connection zone. To remove the top plate, you will need an Allen key or 2.5mm. Once the front plate has been removed, you will have a clear view of the two sections for the cable connections. The high voltage terminal are 2000 volts, 200 ampere and funnel connections to connect up to 16 modules per stream. The low voltage terminal instead is covered by this protection that has to be removed when the battery is in low voltage mode. The batteries are installed in stackable mode, you will need to remove this top cover to enable you to connect the cables from one battery to another or from one battery to the HV box. Now I will illustrate an HV configuration with the use of an HV box mandatory accessory for the HV connections. If the battery is used in HV mode, it must be equipped with an HV box. This is an interface and protection app between the HV inverter and battery stream. HV is equipped with a 200 amper automatic contactor that has to be activated by this switcher. Two inverter charge input channels, 50 amper each, and two HV terminals for the stream connections. In addition to the HV power connections, it's also equipped with the communication port with the stream of modules in series. Specifically, we will see below on how the RJ45 data ports must be connected between the HV box and the battery. BMS communications between the inverters and HV must be carried out with the network cable provided with the HV box. All battery modules and the HV box are equipped with depth switches. These depth switches are used to assign an address to the HV box as a master or slave in a cluster connection. While for the batteries, the depth switches are used for high voltage and low voltage settings. The HP box turns on by activating the circuit breaker which enables the startup procedure for the streams. This procedure will control the voltage and insulation resistance of the modules before giving permission for the startup. Now let's move on to the real application in the laboratory. For this installation we have used six modules. Each module has an average of 52 volts, sir. fully charged 57 volts, sir. and 49 volts when fully discharged, with an average of 320 volts. I will now demonstrate the string that needs to be completed. As you can see, all battery modules have been placed in position. All modules have been connected one to another. All BMS communication cables have been placed in position. And all we need to do now is connect the HV box to this configuration. To do that, we need to take the power cable from the last battery and connect it to the HV box. Simply connect the cable to the connectors. At this point, we need to take the last power cable, which connects the last battery of this string to the HV box. Now 
Now the only thing that we need to do is connect the BMS communication cables to the HV box and the last battery module. At this point, the only thing that we need to connect is the inverter. To do that, we need to take the inverter cables and connect them to the correct ports on the HV box. As you can see, this installation is now complete. At this point, when we switch on the circuit breaker, it will start up a control of the number of modules in this series, the voltage, and the insulation test. After the startup procedure has been completed successfully, we need to connect the HV box to the inverter. To do that, we need to connect the network cable to the CAM port on the HV box and the other port to the inverter. Right. To have a full overview of our installation, we can use the software provided by Weco. Therefore, we need to connect a communication cable and after that, open the software provided by Weka. We now need to select the correct COM port and then connect to our system. At this point, we have a full overview of our installation. Now, last but not least, for security reasons, we need to replace all the protective covers that we removed during the installation process.